you guys saw, uh, I think, uh, at Lakeish, you saw City Gate, yes? yes. Yep. This is another City Gate. Um, it's a four-chambered gate. Can we talk about the chambers of gates? Okay, so you got yes. four chambers here. Um, can you talk about Sure, sure. Uh, we've got a City Gate here. This is an interesting city because there's two City Gates here, which is not normal. Um, the see Sha'arin could mean two gates. That might be why uh, why it's called that. But one thing I want to point out, because you can look for this for the next 10 days as you travel around, and this may have been mentioned, so forgive me if I'm, if I'm telling you something you know. But every time you see something like this, you see this line right here? That means everything below it, when they excavated this, it was, I think about 15 years ago, does that sound right, Adam? 10 to 15 yeah. years ago, Hebrew University? Yeah. Um, everything below that marker was here exactly that way when they uncovered it. Everything above that line is just rocks nearby. They, they've begun to rebuild to give us an idea. Oftentimes you'll see it, so you see it right here too. Oftentimes it'll be painted black in some places. But whenever you see a line like that, it just lets you know, you know, when they come in, like any tell, it just keeps getting covered over. And so when they found this, they began digging and uh, started some a little bit of reconstruction but obviously it's not there is a parking place over here uh, but it's not very easy for a bus so um, <laughs> so we got the long route so you say when they're digging do they come up here with equipment or is it like an archaeological archaeological dig, dig. Is it? Wow. What, what's interesting is if you the pain of uh, living in Israel if you want to build something you have to you have to it's not like, uh, you know, you think Washington's tough to get permission to build. Try Israel. Because you got to have them come and make sure there's nothing archaeologi of archaeological value below you before you uh, dig into it. At City Gates, what kind of things happen at City Gates? Sieges. Yeah, sieges. Well, sieges happened around because they usually didn't want to go to the City Gate. What else? What did they do at the City Gate? The wise the Yeah, the, the wise and the elders of the city, that's where they would meet. Yeah. And make judgments, socialize. What else? Prophets, maybe. Prophets? Yeah, like yeah prophets. prophets would. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna teach the people, go to the city gate. What would normal people do at city gates? Market. Yeah, the market. Oh. Yeah. So, Roman in Roman times, they brought in the agora, the marketplace. It's kind of a main street in town, and we'll see some of those. But often in in uh, in ancient cities, the city gate was where it all happened. It was the social center. Most people did not live within the city walls because they were farmers and you don't have much farmland inside the city so you'd live outside the city and come to the city wherever you needed to or when there was danger then you leave your property and you gather inside the city gates and, and you try to stay safe together and anytime you build a city ideally you want to build it high you want to have walls uh, it's ideally, you, you want to be along an ancient road if you can, so you're on a trade route. Uh, this is not easy to get to, but you're not necessarily looking easy to get to. You're looking to easy, easy to defend. And this would be, this would be a great, great place to defend. Is there conflict a lot of the time, people fighting against one another? Or? Well, I, I mean, yes and no. You went through times of peace, but then there are times of, you know, it's a, it was a different day where it wasn't like, a, you know, you were at Lakish today, and I don't know if you read the passage when Joshua, do you remember, the, did you talk about the story of the sun standing still? So that happened near there, and Joshua was fighting against five kings. But those five kings were kings of cities. So it's not like, um, a lot of times it was that way before, uh, before the first century, before the Roman Empire, is there were kings of cities that made peace with each other or made war with each other. So, I, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Adam, how, how much conflict was there in, in ancient days? Was it regular? Lots. I don't know about regular, but lots. Yeah. Well, you figure that it's David, uh, he had people gossiping behind his back himself. Yeah. So there was always somebody trying to stir the pot. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For this city or Lachish, how many people did it support? Like, how many could come inside the city walls? Th this, this is actually, this one's pretty large. Uh, but as to as to how many could, yeah, I, I think it depends on the size of the city. Um, any insight on that, Adam? No, it's 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 like guessing. They use formulas for like square 
meters, how many people lived in so and so meters, and then they just multiply. They don't really. Yeah. There's no exact way of knowing. Hmm. Educated guess. Did you say where near Lachish is where the sun stood still? Yeah, that was one of the five kings that battled. So it was right. it was a little north. A little uh, we you pass it on the road on the road in. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're not far from it. So if you read any stories about um, the conflict with uh, the Israelites and the Philistines, this, this is the area. This is the Shephelah. They lived out on the coastal plain. And uh, Jerusalem is that way, over, over that mountain. Um, <coughs> and you would, um, yeah, that's where the, that's, so a lot of this in, in the area, we have Goliath's hometown. We have all those stories that you read about. Um, there's uh, Beth Shemesh is where uh, Samson was buried, I believe, which is we pass the, you'll pass on the way out. So this is a lot of Philistine uh, conflict here. And then Joshua, when he when he conquered Jericho, then he conquered the south part of the country. So that's the area we're in. And he it lists I don't know 28, 31 kings, something like that, close to the number 30. And uh, Lachish was one of them where you were where you just were this morning. So we, we drove by Gath on the way to Keith, which is... That's where Goliath's from. That's where Goliath's from. That's his hometown. hometown. Okay, yeah. we drove by that. So is this the area where maybe the Ark was taken in battle? Uh, so he he uh, he lives near where the Ark sat for years, mm -hmm. right? Kiria mm -hmm. Jerim is where it sat for years. That's the town you live in. Mm -hmm. uh, which, where was it? Where it was taken in battle where? Well, taken in battle near uh, Tel Afik, which is... I'm not sure we'll drive by by there, but it's uh, uh, what's it called? It's actually where Paul was also taken there on his way to uh, Caesarea. Um, there it's called. Yeah, wasn't it a Shiloh for a while? It was. Yeah, it was in. It was from Shiloh. Took it from Shiloh to the battle. It was. Uh, it's. Yeah, it's a good bit ways. I'm trying. If we go by there, I'll point it out. Um, Trying to think of other name for Tel uh, It's Herod. It's named after Herod's father. Hmm. Okay, so uh, this last group is coming up. Here's here's what I'm going to encourage you to do. If you go, um, so we came in the city gate, and then for some reason they have it all roped off. So you're going to have to go over that rope, and you can kind of just walk around. You'll see this is a, a double walled city or fortress. You'll be inside one wall and you'll see one on your left and you're just gonna walk around. So you'll get an idea of the perimeter size of this city or this fortress. And then, uh, and then we're gonna end up, we'll end up over by that, by that tree. Um, so yeah, just take a, um, and would you mind staying here and you could just bring that group there and I'll walk this group around sure. that way. Just watch out, cause there are holes here. I mean, we, we already saw a cistern and stuff, but there are holes here that you can fall into, so just be careful. Yeah, let's, let's walk and then we'll, we'll catch up with them over by